Hi, good people. Good afternoon once again from Dhaka, Bangladesh. I'm doing back-to-back -back four reviews. This is the last of the lot. Uh, my latte is almost done and so are the reviews. Hopefully, you'll be benefited from the work that I'm doing and I'm trying to reach my goal of 2,000 videos. Uh, there are like about 50 more, more or less 50 left and that would be a landmark I'm actually targeting. So basically, uh, thanks a lot for all the support, guys. Thanks a lot for the love and patience. I know not all of you watch niche female fragrances, niche fragrances, some rare fragrances. You guys watch more mainstream. That's the crowd that I have. But sometimes, you know, I like to have, I cannot buy so many of the designer ones, especially right now in the lockdown, a lot of shops are closed. So I am trying to review anything and everything I can and keep the channel going. Hopefully you can understand my situation. So the last one today I'm going to do is a very interesting one. And this is a perfume that uh, I never bought. The original one was uh, Narciso Rodriguez for him EDT. I used to own that, review it, check out my review. Then I bought this one, the EDP. This is a master class, master, fully done masterpiece. Okay. I love this iris uh, and then the mask combo, very long lasting. I wear this in cold weather and I really love this perfume a lot. You know, this is recent, this discontinued. They also have the mask edition. I want to buy that. But in that line, they had another one called Blue Noir. So Blue Noir, basically, I think, uh, yeah, the name is uh, Blue Noir. So I remember a few years back, uh, I went to study Enterprise and then I saw Blue Noir EDT. And today I'm going to review EDP version, okay? This is uh, official sample. So when I saw the EDT, I smelled it, but did not appeal to me as much. I did not last that long. So Brother Fahad Samsu Suha, one of our... Uh, Bangladeshi fragrance, one of my older friends in fragrance community. He liked it, he loved it, and he bought it. So I never bought the bottle, I could not review it, I felt sad. So today I'm gonna review the EDP and let you know my thoughts on it. Is it better than EDT? And I think this is uh, kind of like a fresher take on the Narciso. The original Narciso for him, EDT, it's kind of like an animalic, gothic, dark, people call it official uh, rainy day concrete smell you know like rainfall with the water with the concrete cement sun and it's kind of like very animalic very daring dark uh, mask i did not like it i did not find it to be that it's nice but it, not, it was not wearable so edp is a lot more wearable let's see where this one stands so this is the official one ml sample okay and uh, let's try this one that's how that looks i think the bottle is really lovely i don't have the bottle i'm sorry this is how the bottle will look it has this blue edges with that typical bottle and this is mysterious and magnetic amber notes sensual mask and addictive woody notes those are the three components and i want to spray this and talk about it okay let's try this okay let's go one spray this is actually quite strong okay this one <laughs> the blue noir the main reason for me not to buy this because i had few fragrances that smells like it okay and back then i was not very big fan of uh, this type of fragrances to be honest so nowadays i love one of the fragrances I really love is this one, Cartier Declaration. This is on the masterpiece from Jean-Claude Elena, but this is done by, I think, uh, one other perfumer. I think, uh, who's the perfumer for this? I forgot. Um, it's one of the ladies. Let me check. I have my fragrance open. Uh, let me check. Sorry about that. Uh, it's Sonia Constant. I think Sonia Constant did... What did she do? Did she do the Bentley one? I do not remember, but Sonia, Sonia Constant is one of the prominent perfumers. So she made this one. So this is a sort of like a flanker of a flanker. Blue, day, blue Noir, I think. Uh, Narciso Rodriguez, for him, Blue Noir was the first one. That was a flanker, and this is a flanker of that flanker. So some people say they prefer the EDT, and some people say they prefer the EDP. So EDP, for me, I think the performance is better than the EDT by just one hour or so. The EDT... Uh, original one lasted only like three to four hours this one lasts like four to five so longevity is not significantly improved but it's better okay Lo um, projection perhaps the edt will be projecting a little bit more but this one will last you longer so what i really get i don't i remember like my memory serves me the edt and edp not really much different in terms of smell this one feels like a little bit more denser a little bit more prominent okay and I detect this nice sort of orange note in this many people would say there's no orange it's not mentioned in fragrantica but I detect it because it's a woody, spicy, kind of like a musky scent that is kind of like uh, reminiscent of Cartier Declaration. This is a lot more spicy, a lot more woody and uh, stronger. This is longer lasting as well, but it has this beautiful orange uh, fruity note that is that uh, 
opening of it like bergamots slash oranges you, you you have to really keep applying it to understand very complex perfume this on the other hand it's not as complex as this some people say this is similar to Terre d'Hermes okay I get some element of it but uh, honestly speaking like this one has that cardamom note that one makes it a little bit spicy and stand out a little bit than the other ones okay so if you do enjoy Daniel's icon if you enjoy Terre d'Hermes Cartier Declaration original uh, Narciso this is something gonna be up your alley I think this is a fantastic perfume for summer and spring it's not gonna be good enough for cold weathers it does not have that oomph uh, but it's a good fragrance okay but for me it does it beat the my favorite Narciso Rodriguez for him EDP not quite but it's you know it can be a pleasant fragrance I can tell you this is better than the EDT for me a little bit better performance so apart from this I think there's musk there is vetiver cedar nutmeg and amber those are the main notes in this perfume and you get a little bit of that original but it has its own not really blue but it has this kind of spicy woody edge to it uh, very pleasant office wear everyday wear more safer option than the original and the EDP of uh, Narcissa Rodriguez for him so while this perfume the fragrance longevity and everything like projection I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10 it's better than average definitely better uh, it's a summer and spring for men women if you want you can wear it but it's not brand new if you really want a beast mode of this one if you want upper class of this one you go with Cartier this is the true masterpiece the Terre d'Hermes is also very very good but not as similar as the Cartier one okay so all this fragrance I'm giving 7.5 out of 10 it is good but not really brilliant like the EDP okay so Narciso Rodriguez for him Blue Noir EDP that's my review I'm done for the day thanks for watching guys have a very very nice day I'll see you soon bye, -bye.